Hey everyone and welcome back to Hoffman Engineering. And today I'm happy to announce a new update to 3dprintlog.com that adds in robust filament spool tracking. So now you can keep track of all of your spools of filaments and know exactly how much filament is remaining on that spool before you start that print. So if you create a free account at 3dprintlog.com, you'll notice we now have a new filament tab up at the top. And if you click on that, this will bring you to your entire filament library. And this is every roll of filaments that you currently have. And you can see that it shows you the color of the filaments. You can give it a unique name for the filaments. You can see the brand, the color, the material type. And by default, it orders uh, by the remaining filament left on the spool in a descending order. So if I go and view all of my filaments, you can see that this is all of the filaments that I currently have available and exactly how much is left remaining on the spool. And this list of filaments lets you search for it. So if I wanted to see all of my Hatchbox filaments, uh, it'll pull it up here. Or if I wanted to look for a specific color, so if I wanted to just see purple, uh, you can bring it up. And it makes it really easy to keep track of what filaments you have available and how much filament is remaining on that spool. Because after you've added a filament spool, then when you go and you start recording prints, you can link your prints up to that spool and it will automatically keep track of that filaments. So let's say I'm gonna print this 3D Benchy and we can see here in Cura, after I've sliced it, it's gonna take 54 minutes and use 12 grams of filaments. Well, I can use the 3D print log extension to send this directly to 3dprintlog.com and we have all of the information pre-populated directly from Cura. You can see that it'll take 54 minutes uh, and it's added a filament usage for um, 12 grams of filaments. And Cura doesn't know which spool I'm going to be printing this on, so it's going to add it as an other filament, but we can change that. So if you click the Change Filament button, it will launch the list of all of your filaments. And so this is the same list that we saw before. It shows all of your filaments with uh, descending order of the filament remaining on the spool. And we can search for whatever color. So if I knew that I was going to print this uh, with one of my rolls of white PLA. Um, I can see that I have my Overture white PLA, uh, but I'm actually going to use my GTEC white here, which has 510 grams of filament remaining. So when I select this, it'll show you that it's the GTEC white, uh, it's my PLA filaments, and this is how much filament is currently remaining. So I can see, yes, I have 510 grams. This is gonna use 12 grams, easily enough filaments uh, to finish this print. So I can add in any other notes. So Cura sends in a bunch of the print settings uh, and I'm going to start this print. And when I save this print, we'll notice that uh, this filament had 510 grams and it will automatically know to subtract 12.2 grams from that. So if I click Submit, we now have this new print uh, recorded and we know that it's currently printing. And if I go back to the filament page and I look for my white, if I look at my GTEC white, we see that it's now subtracted out the amounts of prints. It was 510, we've subtracted 12.2, so now we know that uh, after this print's done, it'll be 497 grams of filament remaining. And another useful feature is what happens if you have a print that failed mid-prints and you had to cancel it. And so you may not have used all of the estimated filament usage from Cura. Well, if I go back to my print and we say that my 3D Brunchy failed, uh, if I go and I edit this print, there's actually two fields for your print filaments. You have your estimated filament usage, which is what would be sent from Cura or your other slicer program. There's also an actual filament used, um, which can be useful if you had to cancel a print mid print so say that we were about halfway through, I can actually take the failed print, weigh it, and if I see, okay, it's actually only used uh, four grams of filament there, and I can make a note of um, failed mid prints, uh, or you know anything like that in the notes field. Now when I go to save it, uh, it knows that I should actually use this actual amount rather than the estimated amount. So rather than the original 510 grams subtracting the full amounts, it'll only subtract the four that we noted here. So if I save this and I go back to my filaments and I again search for whites, um, we see that it's actually been updated. So 510 minus four gives us 506 grams remaining. 
So this is a great way to keep track of all of your filaments and know exactly how much is remaining. But we know that you're not only going to use filament while you're printing, you're also going to lose some filaments by swapping filaments in and out of the machine, or if you have to cut off a little bits for another project, or if it got tangled and you had to unravel it, uh, there's usually some waste involved in that. And we can keep track of that as well. So if I go into any of my filaments, um, and this brings us to our filament edit page, down at the bottom we can actually add in new adjustments. Um, so these adjustment amounts will get added or subtracted uh, to the remaining filaments. So we can account for things such as cutting off a little bit when we switch the filament colors on our printer. So say that we had to cut off a uh, uh, little bits of filaments, I can add a new adjustment here. I can say that I cut off five grams of filaments. Of course, you can weigh that to figure out how much you cut off. Uh, and you can say that I had to um, cut off uh, filaments while switching colors. And we can keep track of that. So if I save this and I look again at my white filaments, we can see that the 506 has been reduced to 501 to account for that adjustment. And one last feature is the untracked filaments or the other filament when you're adding a print. Uh, so if I open up my change filaments, you notice down at the bottom there is a button for use non-tracked other filaments. And what this is useful for is if you have a uh, bit of filament that you don't actually want to keep track of the entire roll. Uh, so say you got a small bit of sample filaments um, or this will also be used in all of your previous prints that were uh, recorded in 3dprintlog.com before the filament tracking came into place. It'll actually keep track of it as the non-tracked other filaments. And when you select that, uh, it acts the same as before. You have your estimated and actual filament used, um, and then it has a uh, section down at the bottom for your filament type. So all of your previously recorded prints will default to use the non-tracked filaments. Um, but if you wanted to go back uh, to your old records and to change that filaments, um, you are happy to go and select the actual filaments that was used for that particular print. But that other filament can be useful for sample packs or other bits of filaments that you may not necessarily want to record the entire role for in your filament library. So this has been the recent updates to 3dprintlog.com. This is a free website. Anyone can go and create a free account today and use it to keep track of your prints, printers, and now all of your rolls of filaments. So hopefully this is as useful to the community as it is for me. So if you do use it, let me know what you think. Feel free to leave a comment down below, or if you've created an account, you can send me feedback directly through 3dprintlog.com. And I'd be happy to hear what ideas you have and hopefully implement some of those in the near future. So thank you all for watching, happy printing, and I'll see you all next time.